It's been a little while since I made a video about a Raspberry Pi. Here's the reason why. In the past, I did make some video with pre-made image, then I did manage to show you the result. And at some point, I was receiving like four or five, up to 10 emails per day asking for help building a Raspberry Pi, building an hotspot for, with a Raspberry Pi. Since then, I stopped because when you show the result, people, they think it's easy and they do, they take the image and some people they just went along and learn it. And at the same time, if you are planning to go into a Raspberry Pi project, the, the, the first thing that I must say to you is you must be ready to learn Linux, which is different from Windows, different from other, other things. And a lot of commands, simple command, you can just Google about it and find it. So if you are willing to learn Linux and have fun and do cool project with Raspberry Pi, I got a nice Raspberry Pi tree right there. Well, maybe that is for you. Just, just keep in mind, you need to be, you can ask for help, you ask questions, but you need to be able to, to search and, you know, and learn the basics of using a Raspberry Pi and then you will have a lot of fun. So that's why I didn't make a lot of video with the Raspberry Pi because it generated some work for me, a lot of email, a lot of question. And sometimes, uh, you know, it's just hard to support at the distance. So I'm just letting you know that if you, Linux is a problem, you can buy a Peepo PC. You can see my videos that I made in the past. And the, the Peepo PC is a Windows PC. It's a lot more simple to work with this type of device if you're used with a window and you don't have the time to learn Linux. Okay, that being said, what I have here is a kit. Okay, you can see on the other camera. is a Raspberry Pi tree kit. I have a, a Raspberry Pi 2 with a small 3.5 inch screen, but decided to go along with the Raspberry Pi tree. It's been a little while since I didn't play with Raspberry Pi and all the image available right now are more mainly for Raspberry Pi tree. But also, I did show you the last time, the Colibri Leno, the small SDR that I have here. And I have a project and I want to use it with a Raspberry Pi. So this project's involves, I decided to have it more simple and all in one box and the, the, the the little 3.5 inch screen is a little bit small to work with so I did order the Raspberry Pi 3 7 inch touchscreen display so this will be more workable the Raspberry Pi 3 I got an SD card essential also got here is a small USB cable that has a power switch so this will be easier just unplug and you know at times so I have a power switch on that. Also, I got this here. This is a case that will be able to hold the screen, the touch screen. It has a panel, it can be fixed on a wall, or it can be standing on the on the table like this. And the Raspberry Pi goes in it. You have the screen that fits perfectly supposedly in it and you have the feed point to put the power with this cable. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna build this Raspberry Pi kit and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's start.
This concludes this video, and as you can see, I built this little Raspberry Pi PC in about 30 minutes, and the power switch air feeding the screen and the Raspberry Pi air. You have two cable with the splitter, so you can feed the micro USB on the screen and on the Raspberry Pi. It's included with the kit, with the, the, with the box here, and it's completely standalone. You have the Raspberry Pi Air. I loaded the image for the Colibri receiver. As I plug it in, check it out. It detects the serial number of the Colibri right here. So let me play with that and try to make it work. And I'm not in a window environment here, but uh, the only thing that I found, if you want to change the SD card and change the image into, you need to remove completely the Raspberry Pi with this. So. That's a little bit un inconvenient, but uh, when you have the correct image and you don't have to change often, it's okay, I guess. So, this concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. Stay tuned. Will be more to come proceeding with this project. 73 and catch you some other time.